Well, hey everybody, it's Dan, your friendly fishmonger from DansFish.com, and we're going to rewind the clock just a little bit and show you an unboxing from when I unboxed these fish that are behind me here, these, uh, these sword tails, and some other cool stuff. So let's take a look. Here they are. All right, while we get started here, I want to remind you these are freshly imported fish. They're going to be stressed out. Ooh, look at those high fin neon barbs. My favorite barb ever because they get so much color and they're peaceful. So unlike other barbs where you have to worry about them being uh, aggressive and fast moving and hogging all the food and stuff, these are a peaceful, rather sedate barb they don't zip around nearly as quickly as most barbs so they do great in community aquariums um, as I was saying a little bit ago um, they just got put in the quarantine tank is what you're seeing now so they'll get a lot of color uh, trust me they they color up beautifully but all the fish you're gonna see in here 74 degrees that's awesome that's great uh, all the fish you're gonna see in here are not gonna be colored up because they, they just came in um, high fin red-eyed red uh, sword tails really popular I like them a lot here they are close up and then we'll take another look here so they'll they'll perk up and things they haven't again they haven't settled in yet this is just an unboxing but they only get better from here and they already look gorgeous uh, really really neat really popular kind of difficult to get established in the United States fish <laughs> these are pseudomugil forcata the forktail blue eye rainbow fish or, or I like to call them the cheerleader or the pom-pom uh, blue eye rainbow fish because they're such a happy fish they are always cheerful swimming around and they have these bright yellow edges on their pectoral fins which look like uh, look like pom-poms like cheerleaders waving pom-poms as they swim around um, uh, again, right now they don't really have any color, but they're going to settle in and, and turn into some just really spectacular looking little pseudomugils. Peaceful, beautiful, hardy. I like this fish a whole, whole lot. Um, and this is them in the bag. That's what they look like when they come in. Last bag here. Really nice fish. These are clouded archer fish. I love that they bagged them individually here. So within this big bag are uh, 12 or 13 small bags, each of which contains its own archer fish, which is a great way to package them. And they do that because these are such an expensive fish. And uh, yeah, they want to ensure that they get where they're going in good shape. They're a little difficult to find and quite expensive. Although I found them to be very hardy. I they seem to just do really well be a pretty tough fish and the best thing about them is they're a true freshwater archer fish so you don't have to have brackish water to keep the species they do fine in regular old fresh water so this was a small shipment most things got shorted we only got these uh, few species in but each of them are pretty cool species so there you have it um, if you have any questions or comments about this video or fish stuff if you leave it below I'll respond we can geek out together it'll be a ton of fun if you like this kind of stuff and you haven't yet then uh, I would request or invite you I suppose to subscribe like share hit notification bells all that schmaz anyway have a good one and until next time we'll see ya bye bye